to Bravo 07. You in position? Nearly there. In essence, Modern Warfare 2 took everything that the original game was great at and somehow improved upon it. Looking at the single player, Modern Warfare 2 included some of the most memorable missions in the series, as well as a variety of plot locations spread around a fictional universe. We continued where we left off in the first game, and after some shocking changes of events, we are left wondering what will happen to the series going forward. Other famous characters from Modern Warfare 2 included Ghost and Soap, who would go on to become some of the most adored in the franchise. We felt a connection to both Captain Price and them. It's worth pausing here to discuss the visual fidelity, which is truly astounding. Modern Warfare 2 is one of the most visually appealing new-gen experiences available, expertly demonstrating the capabilities of the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. The use of light and shadow is awesome, as is the contrast drawn through night and interior levels, and both the topography and terrain of mission environments feel true to life, with Infinity Ward doing everything it can to mask that its play spaces are little more than wide corridors with incredible gore distances. I want to see empty hands above your head! I will shoot you if I have to! I'm Colonel Alejandro Vargas of Special Forces. We're after a known terrorist. Gomez, hold up. These are her guys. Copy. Oh, tell behind us. Cover, soldier. What do you want? We're taking fire. Three hostiles to us, man. Copy. I'm inbound. Be advised. As would be expected, mission design is admirably diverse and frequently based on an original idea, although these are luckily outnumbered by levels with higher purpose. Those that revert to more conventional templates seem disappointing and frequently very static, with several hold the line. Objectives and other similar bland fare. Modern Warfare 2 struggles to generate something quite as memorable as the majority of developer Infinity Ward's campaigns, which include a poster child objective or gillied up, no Russian and clean house to name just three. Don't lose a weapon! Your turn, Sergeant! Fara, for instance was effectively the protagonist of the 2019 reboot. She's a freedom fighter who lead her and equipped people to oppose the invading Russian forces with the help of Price and company. The relationship between Farah and Price, the US ranged from personal to symbiotic. She needed the squad's elite weapons and training, and they relied on her access to catch their target. on station, circle the target, bring us around. Sir! Calm, get me General Shepard. Call right, of Duty shooting is once again in a league of its own, which means Modern Warfare 2's campaign always manages to operate on a low quality bar that packs a satisfying punch. Beyond each thunderous pull of the trigger, however, is an underwhelming story and level designs that are overly concerned with replicating the successes of previous campaigns rather than embracing its own good ideas for more than a single mission at a time. In the areas where it does innovate, it almost always stumbles, though there is some enjoyment to be had in its brief flashes of inspiration. Overall, this is a great follow-up to Warfare 2019's refined take on a Call of Duty campaign, and an experience that I'm never going to forget. We give this a 7.5 out of 10. Don't do that. 
No one needs to get hurt here. Are you threatening us? Soldier, I don't make threats. For more walkthroughs, reviews, and gameplay showcases, don't to forget to hit the subscribe button. See you guys later for now.